Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey, where in the, this video and the last one we've pretty much been like doing all these like smaller kingdoms. So we did the we did the Cloud Kingdom in the last one, and we actually got every single moon there, which that sounds like amazing, but there's like less than ten of them, so big whoop. Um, and now we're pretty much doing the same thing here in the Ruined Kingdom, and both of them would just be like these small king these small Peridot kingdoms, where all we really did was fight one boss. I'm drinking, like, I'm. St it's still the same day as the last video where I was talking about how I was had, had tonsillitis. Um, so I'm sitting here, I'm drinking like a cup of tea with milk and honey. And I also have a glass of water, but it's not really a glass, it's more like a, a cup, right? Um, and um, the reason for that is that, um, the reason for that is that, like, I decided, like, I decided, um, so normally, the, the normally, like, the glass that I, that I use, one, there's the glass that I accidentally dropped the left Joy-Con into, so I, like, feel like I can't trust that glass anymore. Um... And there's also like these like newer glasses that we got once that are that are nice, right? Um, but they're kind of too nice for just like recording. I'm afraid, always afraid that I'll like break them or something. What the hell is in here? But now I have this like cup. Oh, I remember doing this. There's like a lot of these this these fifth moons that I'll remember doing just from because they were ones that we did in the hotel, and I think I remember this one is like one where. You get, like, the charging chuck, isn't it? Yeah. You get the charging chuck, and then you're able to... You're able to, like, take them all out. There's also, like, all of these coins in here. Oh, my God. But I think like there there is like a secret star here as well, but I can't remember where it is. I think it's like up there somewhere, but I can't remember. Are used for like destroying each of these uh these poles or something? You'll pretty much charge forever when you're using this guy until you hit something, so don't worry, you're not gonna run out of juice anytime soon. The juice is loose. There's juice loose about this hoose. There's definitely like a um I think you have to like it can't be that you like have to destroy all of them because like they just they just like respawn in like endlessly, don't they? There is like one up there. Oh my god, I killed him. That's not good. Yeah, oh no, look, there's like a sparkly, there's like what looked like a sparkly area there. Yeah, look, he has one. There's like, he has the, he has the power star. He's the party star. I don't think I won't find you. There we go. What a weird, like, moon. That, that moon almost feels like such like a, like I'm, I'm torn between thinking it's like almost like an afterthought and that it's just like, oh, well, we have to put a secret moon here somewhere and thinking that it's actually like a really cool, cool idea because when you think about it, it's quite well hidden because you just wouldn't think of going back up there and checking this one random enemy or whatever. But yeah, in terms of the cups, when we were on holidays, I got, like my my partner got me this cup as a present in the in like as a souvenir or whatever from where we were um from from where as a souvenir from where we were and um apparently like I'm moving right up here Oh isn't it like up here yeah I remember this from the hotel I remember this from the hotel I think So, um, but yeah, this cup is basically like a big beaker-shaped cup. And when I say beaker, I don't mean like a science beaker, I mean like a, like, 
like like just a conical shape. It, it's like a it's like a cone shape, an inverted cone shape or whatever. An inverted cone. Um, so it's like big. It's bigger than the other glasses I was wearing, and it's metal. Um, and it's mine, which is even more important. But here's Princess Peach here. She's wearing the same outfit as the Cloud Kingdom. It does not look like she belongs here. That dragon in the background is giving me the side eye. Look. Giving me the evil eye. Oh yeah, we'll go there sometime soon as well. The Wooded Kingdom. Okay, this. I feel like I... Uh, this was one of those things that I just could not figure out. Like, I, in the hotel when, when I was doing this, I was like, how the hell do you break this thing? I was sitting in the hotel room for, uh, I think, like a half an hour trying to kick this thing around until it broke. And I think the problem is, is that, like, I think comparatively recently, I had done the, um... Comparatively recently, I had done the mission in the, um, I had done the mission in the, in the Wooded Kingdom, where you end up breaking the thing, and it, and it felt like I just had to kick it enough until it broke. But this one, I don't know how, I could, just couldn't figure out how you're supposed to break it. I tried kicking it off the wall, I tried kicking it a hundred times. And now, actually, I can't remember how to do it now, either. I feel like I just screwed myself because I feel like you you need to kick it off of another rock and I just broke the other rock, so maybe now I'm just after uh, after screwing my chances of ever getting that moon unless I, uh, oh wow, you can like walk under the claws for some easy cash. So yeah, it's like a big beaker, it's, it's kind of like a copper one um, with like a, an etching of, with like an etching of the... My Joy-Con is, like, vibrating here on the... On the dragon. And with, like, an etching of, the uh, of like, some mountains on it or whatever. So, yeah, it's, it's nice and it's mine. You know, I think that's the thing that I like about it most is that it's, like, my... Sp it's the, the, the specific cup that belongs to me. It doesn't belong to the house. It's not a cup to be used by just anybody who's in the... Who's in this house. It's a, it's a cup that's specifically for me. Let's have a look here. There's, like, three more moons to get here. And I feel like two of them are with the rocket. And one of them is in that, like, rock... I want to like take the take the rocket and do this level first, and then I'm I think I'm gonna hope that that other rock is after respawning again. Oh, I remember this. I'm gonna say that so many times. It's so bad. So I remember this is the one where you have to you have to like stop the the platforms at the right position with the button. It's actually quite cool. I really like. I think like these like these two dimensional sections are are really like some of the some of the best ever, and they're they're always like some of the best in the game. Really, like they're just great. No, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> we probably could do that, but it's like why take on the extra risk? No. Oh, you can just walk into a. I thought you had to, like, cap it. No. Let's try this again, shall we? I, I, I don't know what it is with that, like, formation. I'm so obsessed with it. There we go, finally. It'll make, like, a little jingle when you get the... When you get the right one. Oh, this one's going, like, the other direction. That's how I got confused. There we go. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is, like, the, um... Is the other star not here to the left? Maybe it's not. 
There's like, it, it's it's something like that, like the second, do you know the way there's always like the hidden moon or whatever in these ones as well? It's something like that that you have to like go to the left or go like, like here, here, you wrap around here to the left, that's what it is. But you have to bring the Koopa shell with you, okay. Just watch the magic happen. Just pour a little more. Um. So yeah, I'm drinking here my my cup of tea and my um and and my my glass of water with some ice and lime in it. Um. In the hopes that that'll be good for my 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 throat, which, as I say, is not in like the. Well, that's not good at all. So it's like the bottom we want to get them on. In the hopes that it'll be like. Um, soothing on my poor little throat, the, the combination of the, of the like, soothing milk and honey and the, the, the cold, fresh water will be just the thing that my, my, my poor little ravaged tonsils will need to feel, to feel good. Um, so yeah, I wish I could do something about, like, the, the, the nasal, the nasal build-up. I might have to. Sorry, I just had to, like, clear my nose there. Okay, so I think we want to go, like... Do we not want to just go bottom, middle, top? The, um, as I say, like, I, I feel like these, like, 2D... Not just the 2D sections, but, like, the little... I don't know what I was doing there, I wasn't even thinking. The, not, not just, like, these 2D sections... But like the 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 kind of like bonus le the bonus worlds or like the what is it about like that middle? The um these like challenge levels or challenge worlds like the ones that you get to through like the pipes and the and the doors and things like that. Alright, I'll, I'll finish that talk, don't worry, put a pin in that one. There we go, okay, now I can talk. Now we can see the symbols and the signs read in between the lines like writing on the wall. Um, I feel like these little challenge worlds, like the ones you get into through the pipes and the hat doors and the scarecrow doors and things like that, I feel like they're some of like, the best parts of the game. Like, they, they just like... You can tell that it, they're just the ones where the, where the, where like the game developers they just took like one specific like um, one specific little concept and decided to do everything they could with it. Now I'm gonna try and get this like moon by hitting it off the other rock, in the hopes that that's what you have to do. Because I remember I actually had to look this up. I was like, how would you get the rock to break in the, in the? Oh, don't go off the edge, please. What the hell? I was like, I had to look it up. I was like, how would you get the rock to break in the... In the in the ruined kingdom? And if I remember right, this was the solution. Was to hit it off like a... Another rock. What the hell? You're gonna think this is really funny. You can pick it up. You're gonna think this is hilarious. Uh, I kicked the rock into the rock. That's apparently not how you do it. You have to drop the rock onto the rock. Would you believe that? 
Meanwhile, that dragon is just sitting there, be like probably just like laughing it up, being like, "Ha ha ha! We'll never figure this one out." I, I don't know why the dragon is baying now all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, I la laugh it up, Princess Peach, watching my struggles here. Meter off. No, no, stop hitting it. Just pick it up. Just firmly grasp it in your hand. Who would have like? Who would have thought that the most difficult moon we faced thus far is this one? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so now I found someone else saying to bring to bring it to the to bring it to the dragon, right? And to throw it off the dragon. Which obviously didn't work either. You you can tell maybe I never ended up getting this in the end. All I remember is like, all I remember about this moon is being like, incredibly frustrated by it. There we go, Jesus. All I remember about that, <laughs> that moon is being so frustrated by it. Well, well, look, there's every single moon in the ruined kingdom now. Where are we gonna go next? Well, I know where we're gonna go next. We have to go back to the Odyssey first. I'm gonna take some more tea. Um, can't believe we got every moon in the in the cloud kingdom and the ruin kingdom. I think we'll be back here though. Like I think we'll end up coming back here at some point. Um, we'll end up coming back here at some point just because. Um, you know what we can do just to finish off the video. Actually, let's go back to the mushroom kingdom and see if like Toadette has any more accomplishments for us. But, um, or achievements or whatever, some, achie some of those achievement moons. Those ones where it feels like we didn't have to do any work for them. But, um, the, uh, what was I saying? We, w we will end up, like, going back there at some point, I think, just because, like, we'll have, like, artwork moons from other kingdoms that, like, end up sending us there there's another thing i wanted to try i have i, I last time i forgot this but i feel like there's a moon just for like looking up here yeah as like a really cool homage to to super mario 64 where you get like the wing cap or whatever there's that there's that stupid artwork that i couldn't figure out the last time I'm pretty sure I was doing the right thing, where you have to, like, line up the moon and the hat or whatever. I hope you brought popcorn, viewers. Strap yourself in. It's just not quite the same when you don't have, like, Mario giving you the peace symbol and, like, the, um... Mario giving you the peace symbol and, like, the, the camera, like, zooming away from him. Jeez, we're getting, like, lots of achievement stars. I'll have to, like, look at the list of these in a second. But I think the good thing about these is a lot of them you end up just like getting them by by accident without even trying them. Like most of them are things like like there's a couple of them that are like how many coins you've collected overall and how many jumps you've done and how many ground pounds you've done and stuff like that. But a lot of them are ones that are like connected to getting other stuff that you're going to be getting anyway. Like they're connected they're, they're like oh to do with buying the outfits or buying the souvenirs or I hope you achieve all your dreams. Well, that's nice of her. Buying the different outfits or, like, getting the... 
getting the 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 different souvenirs or um or getting like the artwork moons and stuff like that or like meeting princess peach or all of that kind of nonsense wait a second what are we looking like here in the we've almost got half of them no that's not what i wanted to do Are there any more of, like, the boss battles that we still need to do there? See, so, yeah, I look, fly, cappy, fly. Because we've thrown them 5,000 times. We're almost at this one. Jump, jump, jump to jump 10,000 times. Collect coins. Like, like, we just get these by accident, like, randomly. Activate the checkpoint flags. I feel like the only checkpoint flags we'll have left are things like, um... Oh my god, don't tell me there's like that many of them. There's 14 more of those races we need to do. But yeah, there's like collecting certain... Yeah, like the different ones that you have where you have to wear a certain outfit to get in somewhere. Find bonishers hidden on people's heads. What? Well, now that I know that that's a thing, I feel like I'll need to look out for them everywhere. Play the music that Toad wants to hear. What do you mean, play the music that Toad wants to hear? See, so yeah, it's all those kind of ones. Let's actually just go and talk to the... I think what I'll end up doing at some point, because I haven't looked up any of these moons so far. You know, in these galaxies we've been, we've been revisiting. I haven't, like, looked up any of them. I've just, like, found the stuff naturally. I think I've looked up the purple coins, I think. The final purple coins in a couple of the galaxies. Tussle and Toasterina rematch. Okay, so there's that. Oh, that's one of the rematch, the boss ones. Herding. Oh no! I suppose I could do that. Loose tile track down. What? Well, the only place that there are tiles is inside in the office. Not the office. The the uh, the castle. I don't think you'd call anything else a tile. That's more like of a. St they're more like flagstones or slabs or something. Loose tile. Oh, oh, here. Oh, you hear it kind of like vibrate, but you see it like change color a little bit as well. I'm guessing this is the one, like, that, that they're trying to get us to, to get, like, these, like, that... I guess this is the, the loose tile track down right here, so that's number three. They have, like, a weird grey colour as well. Let's have a look here. I feel like it must be, like, over here on this side, since there hasn't been one over here yet. Yeah, lo and behold. How many of these things are there? My goodness. Here was I thinking this would be like a nice short vid short star to to end the the video yet. And here there's like fucking 500 of these things. I saw it up there. I saw a change. Finally, eight. Loose tile track down. My god. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this part of Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the next part, I don't know where we'll go. Um, maybe we'll like go back to the back to the Lake Kingdom. Again, another one of those kingdoms where I did it, where I was like, and another one of those kingdoms where I was. Um, Another one of those kingdoms where I was doing it in the hotel. So get ready to hear, oh, I remember doing this in the hotel. In Hotel Mario. Like, I'll, I'll get ready to hear that like about 500 times. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.